Well, obviously becoming aware of uh, Mr. Rob's uh, departure from prison into our parole system uh, sent shockwaves to the community. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do is, is draft legislation to make sure that the victim's families have a right to be in front of the parole board live and talk about the anguish they're going through and why that person shouldn't get out of jail. While doing that, our staff found out that, in fact, it is law. Uh, so our position is the parole board violated the law, and we want this family's rights to be uh, reversed and, and give them an opportunity uh, under the law to meet with the parole board in person. And we've accomplished that uh, by looking to draft legislation and realizing it's current law. The result of it is, is essentially when someone's up for parole, there's mandatory reporting dates uh, that they have to notify the victim's family, which uh, Mr. Gregory is registered as a, an immediate family member. And in fact, uh, he, he, he requested a, a personal meeting with the board or the chairman, was rejected, was told that that's not allowable under law. Uh, and in fact, the law is very explicit, very clear uh, that that right to that family should absolutely shall shall be an option. And uh, look, if we have to get legislation uh, with Legos to show this, how this law comes out and how it should read, we'll do that.